check in with Betty Dangerous. Heidi Segman Kuda is the author and award-winning, Emmy award-winning investigative reporter, co-host of the Radicalized Truth Survives podcast. Uh, her substack is bettydangerous.com, B-E-T-T-E dangerous.com. Uh, on Twitter, it's Heidi Kuda, H-E-I-D-I underscore C-U-D-A. Heidi, welcome back to the program. You've been writing about Mike Johnson and his ties to Russia. Tell me yeah. about that. Yeah. Um, so uh, as the second anniversary of the large scale invasion of, of, you know, Russia's war of aggression was approaching, I was thinking that the most important thing that we can do as investigative reporters is focus our energy on Mike Johnson, because as you know, Ukrainian soldiers are counting their bullets on the battlefield right now. Well, in 2018, Mike Johnson was taking money from Russian oligarchs. And how do we know that? Because there were enough uh, investigative reporters still around then to actually report that there was a company called American Ethane, LOL. It's actually funded. The main shareholders were three Russian oligarchs. And why does it matter? Because one of them owns a munitions factory in Russia, which is producing the ammunition that is currently being used to commit genocide in Ukraine. So it's very important that nobody confuses um, who Mike Johnson really is. This is a mild-mannered domestic terrorist who has spent a career trying to take away our rights, my rights, my children's rights. And now he is actually, uh, you know, doing photo ops in Mar-a-Lago. Well, we actually have, um, you know, uh, he, the, the body count around this man is really piling up. Yeah. I, you know, I noticed that the amount of money that he received was not that great. Do you, do you, do you think that it was just something that slipped through or? or, it, or it's, it's not the point by the fossil fuel industry. So it's the same cabals that we continually report on. And yet, uh, you know, we miss the big picture that this is part of a religious extremist power grab in America that is also tied to religious extremists in Russia. Yeah, it's, it's, it's almost like there's a, a, a confluence of religious crackpots, right-wing religious crackpots, and the fossil fuel industry getting together both here in the United States and, and uh, certainly in Russia. I mean, you know, Putin is going out of his way to declare Russia a Christian nation and, and uh, you know, his anti-gay laws that he's just passed in the last few months and the real crackdown on the LGBTQ community there. It, it's, it's pretty grim stuff, and it, and it clearly is the vision that these people have for America. Uh, it's, it's a very dark and destructive vision. And Tom, my work is informed by two documentaries that I just watched, Bad Faith and God and Country. Mm -hmm. And both of them show that the uh, religious extremist movement, this decades long plot was actually the origins are uh, from racism. The origins are from school integration and right religious extremists that tried to have their own private schools to deny that integration. And when that was not allowed, you had these extremists realizing that's not going to be a narrative to mobilize voters. So that's how they came up with this anti-abortion narrative, which Mike Johnson is right in the heart of. So much of his work is, is built around that. And in fact, on his, uh, he had a uh, nonprofit where one of the CNP leaders, Tony Perkins, was also part of that. So he is part of this very dangerous network that actually wants to uh, take away our rights and turn America into this religious theocracy, which is not what we are about. And Tom, I want to let you know, I saw God and Country, which is a Rob and Michelle Reiner uh, produced film. Mm -hmm. And I saw it in Sonoma yesterday. And Sonoma, California, you know, you think of it as this beautiful progressive enclave. What's happening in Sonoma now is that an affiliate with a core member of the CNP is buying up a lot of real estate, affiliated with a mega church. And people in Sonoma are looking around going, man, well, he's, you know, having photo ops in Mar-a-Lago. People are actually dying. Yeah, I mean, and Christian nationalism is an oxymoron. I mean, you know, the... The, uh, I believe it was a centurion came to Jesus and said, you know, uh, should I pay my taxes? And Jesus, you know, said, whose face is on your on the coin that you'd pay with? And the guy said, Caesar. And, and Jesus said, render unto Caesar what's Caesar's, render unto God what's God's. I mean, basically separation of church and state. 
And uh, I, I'm not seeing that being respected by the, uh, by the Republican and religious right that really, as you correctly point out, got, you know, really got kicked off in 1954 with the Brown versus Board of Education decision. Yes, exactly. Yeah, we can't um, underestimate these dangers. And we also need to remind people that these are extremists. And they are doing these extreme moves because they do not have the votes. And what happened when Roe was overturned? They found out 70% of the population did not like that. And they will continually now, in order to create that outrage and that, that perpetual state of fear that they keep people in, they will continually find new witches to burn. And, you know, when I wrote a few months ago that uh, if Mike Johnson was not out of the speaker position by December, that journalism is dead, I am horrified to think that he still has this outside power in February. And uh, there was an article that came out, I think, yesterday saying that he is really using his uh, his he, he's he's basically like a preacher in a pulpit and not somebody who's actually there to support the Constitution and America. This is a dangerous man and the dangers cannot be underestimated. And I am just beginning my investigation into him. And one, one other thing I wanna say that one of the shareholders of the company that was ceding money to Southern Republicans in 2018, not only owns a munitions company, uh, he, he had a son that was actually volunteering in the Trump campaign. The networks of these people are everywhere, and we can't just look at one incident. We have to always zoom out and look at the bigger play. We have a malign influence on our elections from Russia. The FEC has been defanged, and they can't even do the type of investigations that they need to do. And this is just one example. Um, but I will say that, you know, I'm glad that you actually have this program and give people like me an opportunity to, you know, promote this type of work because we need more of it. We need 100,000 more people doing this type of work right now. Yeah, I'm with you. The great, the great Betty Dangerous, Betty Dangerous, V-E-T-T-E, Dangerous.com is the website for this extraordinary uh, Substack newsletter. Uh, Heidi Sigmund Kuda. Heidi, thank you so much for dropping by again. Thank you kindly, Tom. Always great talking with you. We'll be back. Should taxpayers support Medicare Advantage increases? <laughs> Expanding the ripoff, really? <laughs>